Hello everyone, welcome back to Danganronpa V3. So, we've been looking all over these new places, and now look. We're in Kokichi's lab. Dude, I still think. Oh, sorry, not Kokichi. What am I talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> this is Rentaro's lab, is it not? We don't even know. Kokichi wouldn't have a lab this beautiful. What am I talking about? I was just about to tell you how beautiful I thought this was in a strange and kind of creepy way. Never mind. We solved some puzzles in the last one. It's been a hot minute, obviously, and I'm still needing to be awake for this. But we also um, opened the safe in the back and got a USB stick, which I'm assuming is going to work with this laptop right here, which doesn't seem okay. to be working at the moment. But maybe we can see if there's anything on this. It looks like it still works. If I put the USB stick in here, I should be able to check the data. Here we go. I grabbed the USB from the safe and plugged it into the laptop. I found a single file. Could it be a video? Uh-oh. Was Rantaro in here making some TikTok? What was he doing? <laughs> was he making some Snapchat? Do people even use Snapchat anymore? I opened the video file and... Oh, he hey was. I guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? We saw this before. Did we not? Way, 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 way early? <laughs> did, did we not get a, a hint of this early? I believe we did. What's up? Taken by surprise, I gasped and stopped the video without thinking. Me too, I mean, Rentar really is attractive. Can we just, can we just go on with that? <laughs> It's too bad that he was taken so soon. What is this? Sorry. That that was Rentaro, right? I think. He probably recorded it here before he died. No. No, that couldn't be the case. The video was clearly recorded in Rentaro's lab. If I remember correctly. But we were only just able to get inside just now. Maybe he broke in earlier? No. It was supposed to open up after Gonta's case, but because Rentaro was already dead. It was locked permanently. But thanks to Kiba, we were able to get inside. But... Knowing all of that, how could Rentaro have recorded a video in this room? <laughs> that may be true, but shouldn't we check the video first? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, right. I turned to the laptop once again, and with a trembling hand, I played the video. Alright, here we go. Take it off. Wait, no, we gotta be serious. What's up? How you doing? I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. Uh, yes. And seeing you like this, yes. Definitely confusing. Guess I should start from the beginning. Please do. Wait, how long is this video? First things first, I am you. What? No tricks, no actors. It's you. It's you. The reason you don't remember recording this is because that memory was erased. <gasps> oh, he's speaking to himself. Oh, I see. In, in the hopes that he would watch this back. Memory was erased. Well, that kind of goes with what we've been thinking. Think of this video as a message from the Rantaro before you lost your memory. Of course, of course. Okay, what does he know? To the Rantaro after you lost your memory. Gotcha. So, let's get to it then. The reason I recorded this footage. The reason you recorded it, okay. I won the right to a special perk for participating in the killing game. You won the right to a special perk? Okay. Part of that perk is this video message. Video... Killing game? Was there one before this? Monokuma said he was gonna make some kind of puzzle for you. Well, I mean, not talking about one and two. You get what I mean. Like, I mean, was there one directly before this? But the fact that you're watching this means that you've solved it already. Okay. Puzzle. Also, you can't share this with anyone. Uh, <laughs> whoops. If you catch Monokuma shooing anyone away from you, that's why. Okay. There's another part to this perk. Something you get at the start of the game. The start of the game. Okay. Rentaro, what did you get? I bet you know what I'm talking about. Something you've had from the start. Yeah? Perhaps his memory about the hunt? No. I thought that if you were smart, you'd have used it to end the killing game. Okay. But if you're watching this, that obviously didn't work out. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, Rantaro got taken out really quick. Life's never easy, huh? Probably didn't even have time to put whatever this was into motion. Well, anyway, that's the perk. Other than that, 
You're just like all the others. What's the perk? Was it his memory? Did he get like a memory back that the other kids didn't have? Go or am in, I not looking your at memories it? memories and you start killing. Wait, okay. So, oh no. So I think maybe what I was thinking of before has actually happened. We knew that their memories were, were messed up. So you go in and they wipe your memory on purpose, but I wonder if they're putting back memories that aren't true. That could be a thing, right? That's the way it is. That's probably a very big possibility at this point. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case. Just in case? This killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Right, we did get that. Now, the important part of that rule is that... The important part of that rule? Whoa! Jesus Christ, that scared me a little. Jesus, you're all right. <laughs> Looks like they didn't want me saying that, huh? Oh, he has to be careful with what he says. He can't just give it all. I was wondering why he's being a little bit vague. There's probably some rules put down about what he could say. Guess you'll have to solve that little mystery. But hey, you're smart. I know you can do it. Per okay, so here's what I'm thinking. And this is probably very wrong. And don't correct me because I don't want to be spoiled. Uh, so my initial thought is that there was a killing game right before this that Rantaro had completed. And because of that, he got a perk to make this, and he went on to the next round, knowing something that the others didn't know. Uh, those, the others now being us, that haven't participated in this yet before. Perhaps that's what it is, and he wasn't allowed to say that. Oh, there is one more thing. What is it, beautiful? Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. But now he's not speaking to Shuichi, he's speaking to himself. So that goes along with what I was thinking just now. He won one before, did he? And have to be put into this one, maybe as like a champion, so he gets perks over the others. That could be a thing. It's very normal. You're the ultimate survivor. For like, reality? You survived the last killing game. Ooh, okay, that's his ultimate. The ultimate survivor. Speaking of reality shows, so if you put Rantaro on Survivor that he, he would win immediately. But this is way worse than Survivor, isn't it? Is Survivor even still on? That's why you get this perk, the Survivor perk. I see, okay, that's what I'm thinking then. The ultimate Survivor. Holy shit, okay. But it's not all fun and games. <laughs> well, no one said it was, and no one thought that, even from the beginning. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. Oh, that makes sense, right? Because there's probably something really good for you if you kill the ultimate Survivor. So watch your back. Trust no one. I don't know if it was a blessing or a curse that he got taken out quickly. Because, yeah, he would have been a major target if that was found out, huh? And never forget. Never forget. You wanted this killing game. Oh. So you have to win. Wait. No matter what. What does that mean? Why would anybody want it? Maybe, maybe because he's the ultimate survivor, he has something to prove and he thinks he's, like, you know, untouchable. Maybe. No matter what. But I wonder why anyone would want it. In that way. That doesn't seem right. Rantaro's video met well, holy shit. That just dropped a bomb on everything. Huh? What is this? Himiko, you saw it too, right? What are we gonna do? This isn't the first killing game? Well, I mean, we knew there were others. They talked about it in the book, but that seems to make me think that there's a lot of them often. You know, kind of like, let's talk about Survivor again. Like a show runs on a series. You know, once a year. Is it like that? It might be. A killing game that he wanted? Why would anyone want that? What's that mean? Shuichi, what did all of that mean? Who was Rentaro, mommy? The ultimate survivor, I suppose. If I remember correctly. He said he survived the last killing game and that video was part of the survivor perk. Then? He was the ultimate survivor? An expert at death games. Why? Then why did he die so quickly? I don't know. Is it really possible that Kaede got the jump on him that much? I mean, Kaede's plan was pretty good. Let's well, not mince words, but like, is it possible? Remember. Remember what he said. Anyone who finds out who you are is going to come for you. Right, we know that. What's that mean? But did anyone really find out? Kaede thought he was the mastermind, really, not the ultimate survivor. The one that was coming for him? Was he talking about Kaede? No. No, she didn't know Rentaro's identity. She thought he was the mastermind. Right, that's like I said. Well, then what? I must not be thinking about this clearly, because I'm still a little bit kerfuffled hmm. about this. 
Then who's the one that knew it? Could it be? The real mastermind would have known. Yeah, but fuck, who's that? I'm gonna be honest, I do have an idea of who it might be if the person is with us. But it's possible that the person is not. It's possible that they're concealed also. Given that possibility, I have no freaking idea. Although we did see Junko and I don't know what that's about. Then. I don't know if that's really her, which it can't be. I don't know if it's a projection. I don't know if it's another AI thing. I, I just don't know. But with the people we have left, there's really only one person it could possibly maybe be, only because I don't have a lot of feeling for them, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say anything too quickly, but the only people that I don't see having a real reason, like plot device to stay around and not be the mastermind is Shuichi, although they could pull that on us, who knows? Maybe he doesn't know. <laughs> That's the other thing, maybe someone doesn't know anymore, I don't know. But it can't be Maki after all the plots she's had, right? I don't think it's Kibo, because he's getting his plot now and he's destroying the school. That could be a red herring, but why have a robot mastermind? That doesn't make any sense. Himiko, I think, is too stupid. <laughs> but again, Danganronpa's pulled this on us before. Samugi's... We don't know enough about her, do we? I don't know, though. Uh, okay. I, I just don't know enough. We're just gonna have to seek. I don't want to think well. too hard about this and get burned. For now. Hmm. Because I still think maybe the mastermind might be hidden. And he said he wanted this killing game. Why would he want it? Oh, if he hadn't done such a stupid thing, he probably wouldn't have been killed. Another killing game? Why was he even participating in the first place? What was the other killing game? Because the killing game is... I don't know. There is another thing. Rantara said his survivor perk had another part, right? What was the other part? You're right. He said he had it at the start of the game. I'm thinking it was probably his memories or something. But when we found his body... Yeah, there wasn't really anything on him to speak of, if right? I remember correctly. All he had on him was his room key and the monopad. Where's the key to his room now? Do you think we can find that? And that monopad was the same student handbook we had. Then, then it might be still left in his dorm room. Okay. It could be. I never imagined Rantaro, the first victim, would come up again like this. It's always who you least suspect. Whoa, oh, here we go again. Which is why I said, because it's always who you least suspect, you gotta be careful. It's happening. Flashback. Oh no, okay, what's it gonna be this time? Honestly, I'm, I'm really, really, really starting to get the gut feeling that we shouldn't trust anything we're seeing here. It's too convenient to start putting all these memories back now. Oh. Yo, Shuichi. I heard you're finally going to take part in the Gopher Project. Oh, look at all these cute little guys. Yeah. So here's this thing about the Gopher Project again, where this memory is clearly showing Shuichi wanting to do it. Well, not wanting to, but getting forced into it. Are you okay? Oh, no. Are you sure you're not overdoing it? Well, that's poignant for right now. You're the one who's overdoing it. You should be resting at home. Yeah, holy crap. Uh, aren't you guys, like, getting sick from meteors? Maybe you shouldn't be in school. You know I can't do that. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to go to school. Oh, poor guy. I won't get any better if I rest anymore. Oh, no. Hope's Peak Academy is working hard to create an antivirus. Boy, this is a little too real right now. I gotta be honest with you. Even if they do find holy a cure, shit. the meteorites are still gonna be a problem for us. Oh, brother, you're right. I can't believe these kids are even going to school right now during this. Shouldn't everybody be home? Hey, man. Don't look so sad. You're about to go on an adventure, right? Boy, bless these kids for being so positive. Now that I think about it, 16 boys and girls going on a space trip together. Does sound a little bit romantic, doesn't it? You guys gonna do it? <laughs> then, wow. Boys will be boys, I suppose. What are you guys talking about? Oh, Shuichi, we'll explain it when you're older. Congrats, Shuichi. Jesus. I heard there are some hot girls there. Well, okay, I mean, technically we are going to procreate the next popular. No? Okay. I told you, don't look so sad. They're just trying to cheer him up, I think. They're not trying to be gross at this point. I don't know if I can stand it. I'd have to leave everyone behind. Yeah, yeah, that must be so hard, right? You have to go. I'm begging you. Oh, man, do it for them. Huh? They <laughs> they're gonna live vicariously through you. <laughs> Oh, his friend is really sick. Shuichi, 
You're our pride, you know that? This has got to be fabricated. It's all a little too rich, isn't it? <coughs> the sick best friend. Hot girls in space? No, yeah. no, no. You have to do it. For us. We're leaving everything to you. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. If things get too the rough. Guilt. Just remember all the fun times we had together. The massive, massive guilt. So, don't give up. You're our hope. Okay. I'm everyone's... You are, Shuichi, if this is real, which I'm gonna say it's not. I just don't believe it. It's too hard to believe now. <sighs> the memory. Himiko, did you get it too? Why did I have to remember my friends now of all times? So they're all getting the exact same thing pretty much, just probably with different friends. Uh, That's a little um... too convenient, right? What did Maki get? She wasn't, like, she was in an orphanage, wasn't she or something? Well, no, she wasn't in an orphanage, but she was doing, like, assassin work. What did her, like, fellow assassins come up and say, we're doing it? Like, like that won't work. So they can't all be the same. Why? Why make us remember that? That memory is no cause for despair, because I think they're... They're putting false memories in you. Right. It's gotta be. That's right. There's no way we can give up. I promised I'd do my best for them. There's no way I can give up. Yeah, I think this is kind of like a reverse psychology thing at this point, right? They want them to have hope because instead of just laying down and doing nothing, it's not good for ratings. And we've seen that before loads of times with Danganronpa, haven't we? Okay! So we're looking for the other part in Tara's survivor perk, right? Leave it to me. I'll check every nook and cranny of this room with my magic, of course. Okay, you do that. All right, there she goes. Breathing hard, Himiko ran off. Hope she's all right. What does all this mean? What are lies and what is truth? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I wish Kokiji was here. He would know, because he was the master of those things, wasn't he? Oh, we have friendship power. I love friendship power. You have increased your bond. You can move more debris than before. Yeah, but where do we go now? Here's the problem. I'm not... Are we going to Rantaro's room? I suppose that's where we're, go we're off to. That's really the only thing they mentioned. Okay, so let's go back there. Now, I wonder if we're going to be able to, like, look at the Monokuma door. Oh, God. Things are rumbling up here now, too. There's no time to be standing around. We only have until dawn to investigate. I need to inspect every inch. Get as many clues as I can. That's true. I should go there next. If Kibo destroys the door like last time, I should be able to get in there. Wait, destroys the door? So we're not going to Rantaro's dorm room? Or maybe we are. Uh-oh. Huh. Oh, Samugi. Shuichi! Shuichi, I finally found you! Huh? Samugi, what's wrong? Um, I was checking Kaita's research lab on the sixth floor, but... What is this? Kibo's attack demolished a wall to the school and caused a new room to appear. Uh, um... A new room? Yeah. And it's really weird. Anyway, come with me. Who's, whose lab haven't we seen? Wait, hang on, now I'm starting to forget. Where are we going? Samugi spoke almost encouragingly and then walked on ahead. Hmm. A weird room? I can't ignore that. I suppose I have no choice. I'll go there later and head to the sixth floor right now. Crap. I know it's on the sixth floor, but I have to remember where. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. Because I don't remember anything, you see. It's it's bad. Uh, thankfully, I don't think we waste time walking around. Oh, God, everything's destroyed. Um, there was no way up from here, was there? I don't believe. I think this is the top, the tippy top. Which means I think Kaito's is down one from here. Because this is the top of the school, is it not? Wait, no. No, I'm wrong. Because... No, I'm definitely wrong. Ah, crap. Here's where we get... No, I don't want to go through here. Here's where we get lost. I'll go to the sixth floor that Samugi was talking about. Oh no, it, it is through here. It's just through another stairway, isn't it? God damn it! Give me the map, please! I'm a stupid person! I get lost often, you see? Like, literally, if I don't have the map, I'm doomed. Like, I'm, I'm so in trouble right now. And I did walk around. No, that's down. I want to go up. I don't think there's another way to go. God, I don't even remember where Kaito's dorm was. His dorm. Listen to me, I'm freaking out because I don't like it when the wall shakes and I don't like it. Yeah, it's not gonna let me back up here, right? We have to think about where it was. 
The sixth floor that Smoogie was talking about. All right, well, we're going back down to go up. Where was Kaito's thing? Shit. Didn't we see it recently, too? And I totally dropped the ball on it. All right, fine. Where was the other upstairs? Was it down here? Because this is floor three now. I think it was, because I think a new hallway opened up in here. I want to say that sounds right. There's Maki's room. We probably won't be able to go. We're probably not going to be able to go anywhere except where we have to go. The game is a little bit favorable in that way. That it won't leave me crawling on my belly forever. But I got to remember where. Well, we'll just keep going down until it doesn't let me anymore. And then I'll be like, oh, well, this is where it is. It's on one of these floors. And I forget where it opened up. There was a, a secret room that we unlocked into a hallway. I probably already passed it, but I think Shuichi would have said something if I went too far. Oh god, there's Kurumi's lab. How long has it been since we've seen that? Okay, we're getting to the right path here. We can't open that yet. At least the music is nice. Like, at least it's not that crazy, like, kaka chase. Here we go. This is what we want. Come on, Shuichi, punch the rocks with your fists. I'm just assuming this is where we want to go since this is blocked off with two. God, you'd think. You would just think that I wouldn't forget every single thing, but don't worry, guys. I'm here to forget every single thing. It's in here, isn't it? <laughs> I'm asking myself as I don't remember. Man, I walked around trying to- ah! Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. Oh, he got me, I think. Leave it to me, everyone. Little help. That scared the absolute crap out of me, I hope you know. <laughs> the noise I made. I totally forgot they were still walking around here. So this must be the right... This must be the right way, then. Anything over in this rubble? God damn, Blue X is all scaring the shit out of me. God! Alright, here we are. Okay. Smoogie? You in here, love? You up here? Smoogie, how did you get by the Exosol? <laughs> I guess she was with me. You'll never guess what happened. It just literally almost pissed my pants. That's what. Alright, I'm not afraid to tell anyone. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Here we are. Here you are, dear. What do you need to show me? Oh! A new room? It must be that. Seems like... Right? This room's really weird, isn't it? I can't figure it out. Okay, I'll try looking around. Well, how serendipitous that you would bring me here. Okay, a large hole. Let's look at it. I went through the large hole in the wall and stepped into the next room. I'm not checking anything in Kaito's lab just yet, because I don't know if I have to, actually. Probably not, right? Wait, I mean, we've already been in here. Cold sleep? Oh, another one of these, right? Uh, um... Cold sleep. Oh no, I'm starting to get DR2 vibes all over again. This is... Hey! Right? This room's really weird, isn't it? I can't figure it out. Could it be? I suppose it's possible that... Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. Oh, oh uh. wow, of course. Another? What is it this time? Okay, let's watch and see. I j dude. There's been, like, sleep capsules and, like, corpse things holding things in every DR, really. What? Hello? Well, then. Everyone's here. It's a memory, though. They're not actually here. Let's begin, then. Wait! Oh, hold on! I'm not mentally ready yet! Tango! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to voice everybody, and I forgot what voices I gave them. But also, I get to see them again. <laughs> well, robots probably don't need to mentally prep themselves the way humans do. Oh? Actually, do robots even need to be put in cold sleep? That's robophobic. I'm still a teenager just like you all. I would feel lonely if I was the only one still awake. Like I thought. But is it really okay? This will be my first time in cold sleep. I'm just plain nervous. <laughs> it's the same for all of us. <laughs> oh, Kaito. But you know, it's a man's dream to leave Earth behind and travel across the stars. Ew. What a careless guy. Fuck a 
fucking moron! Oh, fucking idiots, more like it. What? Hey, who are you calling an idiot? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, guys. Okay, break it up. We gotta be friends here. Don't start fighting with each other. Okay, day. Oh. <gasps> friends, you say? Yeah, that's right. That's right. We're friends from here on out. Uh, even though you just met us and you don't even know what we're like? Kaede wanted to be friends with everybody. Because... Well, the 16 of us are going to be here together from now on. Yeah, it might be hard, but let's try to take it one step at a time. We might fight at first, but we shouldn't forget about believing in each other. Yeah, that's right. We all went through such a difficult time, so I think we can all become good friends. Right? What do you say? Mm. Gonta agree. Gonta wants to be friends with everyone. That is correct. After we wake up from cold sleep, we'll have no choice but to live together. That's right. So we all better get along. Oh, my heart. Yeah. Yeah. We're already friends. Even Atua says that we're friends. Uh, that sounds like a pain, but okay, I guess. Hey. Hey, what about you? Huh? Me? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm glad. Huh. No matter how many times we fight, we smile in the end, and that's what true friendship is. It'd be cool if we could be like that. All 16 of us. That's right! Yes, I agree. Uh, as long as we leave the degenerate males out. <laughs> uh, I think us guys should be included too. All right! Uh, then let's do it! It'll probably be a couple of years before we all see each other again. But let's all work together and do our best. That's right. Yes, because we are humanity's last hope. All right. All right, let's get some shut eye. I'll see you guys later. Oh, that was really hard. Oh, I missed them all. Uh, uh, oh, I remember now. This room is, this was the room where they were put when they were going to space, was it? It, it can't be. This was the room where we went into cold sleep. Then. Smoogie, you remember too? Okay. This is the room where we were put into cold sleep for the Gopher Project. It's where the 16 of us first met. So either that's false, or true, or mm. But when we started the game, Shuichi and Kaede fell out of a locker, and they had never met each other before. But again, they say that their memories were completely erased by that point, so that's possible. We just have to wait and see. We just have to wait and see. But... But back then, we all said that we'd work together. We promised we'd become friends. <laughs> and now we're killing each other. Why did it have to end up like this? That's... This is Monokuma's fault. Monokuma and the true mastermind controlling him. Um, that real mastermind hiding in the academy is making us do all this, right? Right? Hey, should you let's find them no matter what, and end the killing game for good. Um, and then... Let's finally fulfill that promise we all made. There's a lot of us missing now, but it's not too late. You're right. You're right. Well, the procreation thing might be a little too late. Well, maybe not. I mean, how far can you go with only one male and three girls? Not too far. I meant for the procreation, not... You guys are disgusting. Okay, fine. So let's... Wait, really? In all this, the only thing we can look at is this? Not the- not the chambers themselves. Documents, alright? There's some documents left on the table. Huh? A Gopher Project's participants list. Um... Oh, yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. I found it when I was here earlier. Uh, um... Anything of particular note? Um... All our profiles are written here. Most of it is stuff we already know, but that's not the important part. <gasps> it's about Kaede. Huh? What about her? What about Kaede? Mm -mm. Is this fabricated? Whatever this is? What, what does it say? Seems like... She... has a twin. Huh? A twin? Not this again! Yeah. Yeah, it seems like she has a younger twin sister. Really? Wait a minute. No, stop. This... No. I know that Junko and Mukuro were a thing. They weren't twins, were they? I don't think so. I think one was younger than the other. But... Not this again. That's too convenient. It said her sister was adopted by a relative and they barely had any contact, but... Uh, I'm still a little worried. 
Because Junko also had a twin sister. Oh, shit, I forgot that Mukuro and Junko were twin. They didn't really look that similar. Well, I guess a little. Maybe Mukuro dyed her hair. Maybe Junko dyed her hair. I can't remember which one. One of them did. Because okay. you don't get twins with black hair and blonde hair, do you? <laughs> Maybe you can. I don't know. That reminds On me. top of that, Junko used her twin sister to run her killing game from behind the scenes. Oh. I mean, it's probably just a coincidence, but... I thought I should mention it to you. It's a very big coincidence, madam. Thank you. Thank you. That's too convenient. That can't be... Th they wouldn't do that again, would they? That's dumb if they do. No, this has got to be... I'm just going with my gut instinct. My gut instinct says run away from that. It's a red herring, right? They wouldn't use two of the same exact mastermind plot point. Come on. This is the first time I'm hearing that Kaede had a twin. But is that relevant? It doesn't really matter, does it? I don't think so. Even Shuichi's saying that's kind of stupid. I bet you anything that's fabricated. Go for a project participant list has been added to truth bullets, okay? Uh oh, we gotta get out of here. It's probably not even safe. Seems like it seems like their battle has gotten more intense. I wonder if we're gonna be okay. It seems like the building's gonna break soon. If I remember correctly, Kibo said he'd give us till dawn, but 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 there's a chance that Monokuma will defeat Kibo before that. Right? Okay. Either way, we should hurry. What should we do? What are you gonna do now? I'm... There's a place we should investigate. I found it right after the killing game started. But it's been closed this whole time. Could it be? You mean... Okay. The hidden... Oh, the library room. So we're not going to Rentaro's room after all, even though they, they talked about possibly doing it. I was wondering when we were gonna get to that door. With Kibo's help, I'm positive I can get inside. Certainly. Oh, you're right. I'll go with you. Oh, we got Smoogie's power. Yay. You've increased your bond. You can move more debris than before. Oh, we leveled up. All right. Uh, Let's go ahead and leave here. Right. So I'm assuming this game won't let me leave without looking at everything, right? I hope. Okay, well. We're gonna go, and in the next one, we're gonna go down to that library door, and we're gonna figure out what the hell's happening with Smoogie in tow. And, uh, yeah, figure it out. I don't know. Our limit's almost up as well, so we'll have to see what happens when we get down there. I'm a little worried about that. Is it even possible to finish it in the limit? Who the hell knows? We'll have to figure it out later. Alright guys, I will see you soon. I love you so, so much. We're gonna go down the- oh my god, this makes me so dizzy. We're gonna go down here and not get scared by any more exosols. I do know where the library is, so don't worry, we won't get lost going down there. <laughs> oh my god, my voice. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you soon, guys, in the next one. Toodaloo.